Hey guys, how are y'all today? Happy New Year! I hope everyone had a fantastic Christmas and a New Year. And if you didn't have a fantastic one, I hope it was at least okay. Um, doesn't have to be great, but as long as it wasn't bad, that's a good thing. <clears throat> um, today what we're gonna do is I saw a video by Emily Noel on YouTube um, where she took JLo's Vogue um, makeup tutorial and did it as a drugstore tutorial. Well, Emily Noel is a little bit darker skin than me, so I wanted to try the same techniques and maybe some different products and see if I could get a similar look. So that's what we're gonna do today. This is the first time I've tried this, so I don't know the longevity of the makeup. I don't know how the products are gonna interact. So it's just gonna be an experiment. Call it weird science, if you will. <laughs> or, you know, whatever you wanna call it. It's fine with me. It's just something fun and different to do. Um, so Emily Noel is the creator of this type of look, um, of this idea. I wanna make sure that I properly um, give her credit. Um, because she's one of my favorite YouTubers, and if you haven't seen her, I really suggest you watch her channel. Um, she's full of positive vibes. She has three little ones, um, that are adorable. She's just really fun to, uh, watch and listen to. But, um, <clears throat> with all that being said, I know that's kind of a long intro for me. Um, let's get into it. So, what we're doing, we're doing something completely different for me. We're going to do concealer and contour first. Um, and foundation steps come later. So I've already washed, moisturized, and primed my face, or um, I haven't primed my face, but I've already washed, moisturized, put on my serums, and all my skincare stuff. And so without further ado, let's get into it. I'm still gonna use my e.l.f. Um, Power Grip Primer. I'm almost out, I love this stuff. It does, um, I like it because it gives me a really um, glowy finished look. And it also, I feel like, helps the longevity of my makeup. But if you don't like a sticky surface, I would suggest not using this because it does make your face very, very sticky. Um, which is why it's called Power Grip. Um, <clears throat> I know there's some other ones that, uh, um, like, Emily Noel doesn't really like that one. She likes one from Hard Candy, but I haven't tried that one yet, so... Um, I like the e.l.f. Um, I've been a big fan of e.l.f. ever since I was first introduced to their website in 2011. Um, so I like e.l.f. products, so that's kind of more of what I'm leaning towards today. Um, e.l.f. went wild, you know, some of the less expensive drugstore brands, um, for the most part. I do have like a hodgepodge of things that I'll be using and I will try and list them in the description box below. So I think, hmm, I have two different types of contour here. I have the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer in the shade, well, it doesn't have a shade on it, but it's the lightest shade I could find, which is like that. I've already swatched it to see if it was going to be a good shade for me, and it looks like it is, but I also have the Wet n Wild Double Ended Contour Stick in the shade Light Medium. And that's what that looks like. I think we're gonna try the contour stick first and then if I need to, I'll put on the putty uh, bronzer or putty contour. So we're just gonna, and they, JLo and Emily had a very thick band of contour <clears throat> on their forehead. I have a pretty small forehead, so I'm gonna keep it, you know, relatively smaller and for my face shape, I like putting my contour like right here, almost where I'd put my blush, um, and I keep it pretty high. And I don't go too far in with it, and like I said, I'm going to do a deep band of that. And then along my jaw, sculpt that out. Cause I don't have a very strong jaw. And then JLo did right here. She contoured right here where your double chin can kind of catch the light. So I contour there and then right, right there. She also contoured her nose, which I'm not, I haven't done a lot of, but I'm just gonna take my contour stick and go along the sides of just the nostril area, kind of right here, and then across the tip, because I like the way that looks. It makes my nose look uh, like a little more like a button nose. 
So that's what I like. And we're just gonna make sure that that, all right. And I could probably use a little bit more here, a little bit more here, and just make sure that's good. Okay. <clears throat> Next, we're gonna go in with our concealer. And I'm gonna use Late Peach of the e.l.f. 16 Hour Camo Concealer, just the regular. And then we're gonna put a dot here, a dot there, just anywhere where you kind of know you need to conceal. That's usually all the concealer I use. I don't use a ton of concealer and she used a flat foundation brush to blend that in. So we're gonna do that as well. I got a little more concealer on my eye than I would like, but that's okay because we're going to go in with eyeshadow later. And then just blend it in. And and my skin is really good, so I don't need a ton of concealer, so I don't have a lot of problems with my skin at the moment. So I'm really, really happy about that. There was a fuzzy on my brush and I didn't see it till just now. <laughs> All right, and then we're gonna take the highlighter side of this contour stick and put it where you would put highlighter typically. So I'm gonna do some right there down the center my nose center of my forehead here. I'm gonna also do some right here, right here, right here. And on my chin, just like that. All right, and now you're just gonna kind of gently blend it and she used a brush again. Um, I think I'm gonna use this Real Techniques uh, brush. I'm just gonna make sure there's no excess product on it real quick. And <clears throat> because I love the way that this brush blends stuff in. You're not supposed to blend it all the way. You're just supposed to get kind of started blending. And um, That is very orange. I was not expecting that contour shade to be that orange. So yeah, this could, this could end up being a really bad idea. <laughs> I'm doing it for the first time on camera, but is what it is. We're going to try it and see if it ends up being a mistake. The good thing is, is it's just makeup and it'll wash off. So <clears throat> now that we've got that, um, she also took her foundation. I'm using the Maybelline 4-in-1 Glow Perfector Makeup. And I'm just going to apply that to the back of my hand. <clears throat> that way. Oh. And then I'm going to take the foundation brush that I used to put the concealer on, I think. And actually... I want a little bit of a different brush here. Let's see. I wanted more of a stippling brush, so let's see what I can find here. Uh, hmm. Yeah. We're going to go with this. <clears throat> let's see. I don't know. That has green all over it. Um, yeah, so I guess we're going to go in with the flat foundation brush and we are just going to tap it on we're not gonna blend like we're just gonna kind of tap it in you know kind of going around the places where we put the highlighter you know kind of sheer on the inside of our face but just taking our product and just tap it 
tapping it over. Because you don't want to move the stuff you have underneath it. You just kind of want to mesh it together. And we're just kind of and blending the con nose contour in and blending. If you need to dip back into your foundation, do that. Try not to knock your products all over the place. Like me. And then just, I'm just tapping where I feel like I need a little extra. Holy moly. And um, also don't forget to blend your neck. And then that, oh wow. <clears throat> and then she took her, um, Emily used the Instant Age Rewind by Maybelline. Um, JLo did the um, YSL Touche Clot Concealer. I am going to go with the e.l.f. Flawless Brightening Concealer. Click it up a couple of times. And then put that on and put it everywhere I'd like to kind of brighten up a little bit. And uh, I love this concealer. I think it works so well. And then I'm just gonna take a smaller um, brush and blend that out. Um, this is the Real Techniques Expert uh, Concealer Brush. And I love this for blending in concealer. And then just kind of go down the sides of my nose right here, around the corner of my eye and make sure that's blended. And then You can even go in with your finger, um, you know, kind of whatever you want to do, finger, brush, it doesn't really matter as long as you get it blended nice. And then she also went around her mouth with the contour. I've never done that and honestly I'm kind of scared so we're gonna do that together um, but I wanted to do it after I got most of it, all the rest of it blended so we're just gonna go over the edge of our lips I hope this doesn't look like I've been playing in mud It's supposed to give a powdier effect, but <clears throat> now let's see. Let's go in with my foundation brush and just, I'm going to get a little bit of the foundation on the brush itself, just like that, and just tap it over around the edges of where I did that contour like that and then around where I brightened just to make sure everything's blended really nicely and if you need to go back in with your bronzer brush and touch it up 
if you need to blend it a little more, like in your hairline, because <clears throat> that got really harsh. And then, oh, don't throw your brush around like me. There. Okay, there we go. Now, <laughs> this looks so odd to me because I don't typically go that warm with contour. Now, um, she did a cream blush. I don't have a cream brush in the color that I want to use. So, <clears throat> um, we're just going to apply a powder brush, powder blush over top of these cream products. I am going, I'm just wiping off my brush here, um, that I use with my normal, because she, I, the normal cream brush, cream blush that I use is way pinkier. She used a really peachy shade, so that's what I'm going with. This is the Benefit California blush um, that I got, that my boyfriend got me uh, for Christmas a couple of years ago. Or it, I don't know exactly when he bought it for me, but he bought it for me. Um, I think it was for Christmas. And I love that color blush, so we're just gonna tap it on and peachy pink blushes. I, I love blush. Um, I love a lot of different blushes. So, and see, that's still, you can, that doesn't even look like a powder blush formula. So that's the cool thing about it. And then just, Apply it however much of blush that you like. Everything is kind of personal to you. You can do more or less or, you know, really whatever you want. Next, she didn't do eyes next. She went in with a powder bronzer um, just to kind of set the set the bronzer and I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to use my Smashbox, the Cali Contour. Um, I got this at Ross or TJ Maxx a while ago. <laughs> um, and it's lasted so well and so long. And I'm just going to take, I wiped off the cream products and I'm using that same brush and I'm just kind of patting it on in the same areas. And if I need to go back and apply more blush, I can do that. And then this did help tone down some of the orange look. So that's good because um, this is a cooler bronzer color or contour color. Okay, and then I'm going to go back in with this brush just to make sure that everything is blended. Because nothing's worse than something that's not blended very well. Okay, now that we got that done, and we've got, I'm going to go in, back in with a little more blush. And like I said, I hope I can stop dropping products before the end of this. <clears throat> Next, we're going to go ahead and go into, first we're going to get a sip of coffee. <laughs> now we're going to do our eyes. And this is just my uh, Milani eyeshadow primer. Um, I like it. Um, I like the NYX Glitter Glue primer a little bit better for different for, well, I like the NYX Glitter Glue Primer if I'm using shimmers, but I like this if I'm using matte colors, um, because this really does help them, like, be smooth on the eyes. 
So I really like it for that. <clears throat> so we're just gonna apply that. And then we're gonna take just a regular flat shader brush. This is from the Ulta Thor Love and Thunder collection. And we're just gonna take our eyeshadow palette. I'm using the Christine, Kristen Leanne eyeshadow palette from Urban Decay. And this is the Daydream palette. <clears throat> and first off, I'm gonna use the lightest shade in here, which you can see I've used pretty much the whole thing. Um, and I'm gonna put that on my lid. And just smooth that on. You know, once the shadows get like this, I what I tend to do is scrape it a little bit to get some chunks and then mash them around to make them a fine powder with my brush. And then tap off excess and apply it that way. And then I am applying that all the way up to my brow bone so that it, all the other shades kind of blend nicely on top of it. And then to make a smooth surface. I know some people are like, oh my God, you put it all over your eye. Your eyeshadows aren't going to last because, you know, that's what the primer's for. Well, this is just how I do it. You can do it however you like. <clears throat> Next up, I'm going to take a fluffier brush like this. And I'm going to take the Daydream color here and the Warmer Subscribe color. Mix the two together and that's what's going in my crease. Blow off excess or tap off excess, however you want to do it. And then just go into the crease. This is not a very intense shadow look. It's just kind of like an everyday look. And then Like I said, this is not intense. It's not supposed to be. It's just supposed to be your eyes, but better. Almost. But I do like going and making it a little more, just a slightly more intense. And then I'm going to take the lightest shade again. And then I'm going to blend that with whatever I had left on my brush and go over the edges to make sure that they seamlessly blend. Because I don't like when the blend is jagged or it doesn't look seamless, so this is what I do to help prevent that. And there you go. Now, <clears throat> what JLo did is she took a dark, the dark, a dark brown and put it on her lower lid. That's not going to look the same on my eyes. So I'm going to go back in with that subscribe color and go on the lower lash line. And I'm going to take the dark brown on the upper lash line. Because I feel that's going to give the most natural look to my skin. <clears throat> um, if you're darker than me, then you can definitely do how she did it. Or if you want just a lighter look, um, you can do it the way I'm doing it. It really doesn't matter. It's six in one hand, half a dozen in the other, if you want my honest opinion about it. <coughs> <coughs> this is just how I'm deciding to do it because I think on my skin, this is going to look the best. Because I don't like dark liner um, underneath my eyes because my eyes are a bit small anyway and I have brown eyes. So I think going with a slightly lighter color is going to do better for my eyes and keep that light coming in. <sighs> I'm taking it on a small semi-fluffy brush and I'm just kind of gently going along that lash line. All the way in. Um, 
like that. Now, uh, what I am going to do is because I do notice that I got a good bit of like fallout from it. So I'm going to take my foundation brush that I blended everything out with and just take it underneath my eyes just to make sure everything is seamless and gorgeous. <clears throat> like that. And then I'm going to take this same brush and I'm going to go into the darkest color, which is called eight. And I'm going to put that on my upper lash line. Actually, yeah, is that going to... Yeah, that's going to do it. I thought it might be too fluffy, but no. Nah. You see, you can take a fluffy brush and apply eyeliner with it, and it looks good. And you can also kind of get a smudgy look out of it without a lot of effort, which is what I like. Is when you can do something with out a lot of effort into it. <laughs> and you see how that kind of just brings attention to my eyes and makes my eyes pop? That's what you want. You want the attention to be on your eyes. And if you want to smooth it out a little bit, you can do that with your brush, just like that. And it looks flawless and seamless. Next up, fun eyebrows. This is the Wet n Wild Brow Obsessive Brow Pencil in Taupe. I wanted something kind of thinner than what I typically use every day because she used the ABH Brow Wiz. So I'm just gonna do my brows. Um, actually, hold on. I just realized that some of the foundation has moved <laughs> right here. So we're gonna touch that up before we continue. And then we're gonna go in with the brows. I'm just gonna pull my mirror a little bit closer here so I can do them. I'm probably not gonna be in frame, but that's okay. <laughs> I'll try and get it in frame. There we go. And I'm just kind of coloring my brows in. my brows are super light and I Okay, my <clears throat> Okay, so I'm having problems with my foundation stuff around my eyes. So what we're gonna do is take some of the two chocolate or uh the what or elf flawless brightening and we're just gonna apply that and we're also going to apply some of the e.l.f. Camo Concealer in the Light Peach and just put a dot or two right there with it. And then we're going to take, <clears throat> this is the uh, Friends Collection brush and we're just going to apply that and just kind of blend it in because We don't want things to separate, so we're just gonna give that a nice little blend in here. And blend it into the inner corner of the eye and down the nose. Alright, and 
And then if we need to, we can go back in with this brush and blend with the bronzer there. Now we can go back in with the bronzer brush. Again, I am dropping everything. <laughs> Can't hold on to nothing. Okay, bronzer brush. Just like that. Go over it a little bit. <laughs> That's the fun stuff about this type of makeup look though. I'm not editing any of this out because I want you to see that nothing goes perfectly for an influencer. You know, <laughs> there are things that we have to do where like, oh, that doesn't look right. Let me, let me fix that real quick. I want to be as relatable and as honest as I possibly can with you guys because um, that wasn't a thing when I was watching YouTube for the first time, you know, back in the early 2010s. It was all about how to look perfect on camera. You know, everything had to be perfect. Well, honestly, no human being is. So I want you to be able to relate and be able to learn. And if I don't show you mistakes, you're never going to be able to learn from them because I wasn't honest with you. So that's why this video is not going to be edited. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to edit out my rambling. Um, this is just me as a person. So I hope you still like, follow, and subscribe um, to my channel and we'll have fun. Okay, now I'm, since I've got most of my brow, you know, my brows mostly done, I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Brow Sessive Brow Gel in the shade Blonde. And we're going to put that on. And hopefully this color works. <laughs> and hopefully it's not too dark. Doesn't look to be. I actually really like that. That looks... Really nice and really natural, which for a blonde is hard to do. I don't know why companies have such a hard time doing blonde shades, but <laughs> some of them do and it drives me insane. It's like, cause I don't want to look like I have black brows, which if that's your thing, go for it. It's just not mine. <laughs> but the good thing about makeup is at the end of the day, it washes off. So if you don't like something or something doesn't suit, all you have to do is take some soap and go, and it's gone. <laughs> all right. So now that we have all that done, um, it's time for lips. And we are going to use the Revlon Colorstay Longwear Lip Liner in the shade Neutral Natural. What shade Natural? And uh, I had on some e.l.f. Uh, lip balm and Ride or Die. And this is the Pumpkin Spice Latte shade of it. I found it and I was like, I have to have that. I love Pumpkin Spice. I know that's a basic thing to say, but I really do love Pumpkin Spice. I love cinnamon. So anything cinnamon, I love. Okay, so next we're going to bring the mirror in and we're going to line our lips. So, hold on, I gotta turn the light on so I can see. And we're gonna just lightly overdraw while well, I can't even see this color on my lips. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's the color. Um, 
it really does look like concealer lips on me a little bit. Not 100% thrilled with the way that looks, but we're going to go with it. Um, we're going to go with the e.l.f. Hydrating Core Lip Shine in the shade Happy. And that's the color. Um, JLo did something very kind of caramelly. Um, caramel is not really my color for my lips. Um, I'm very pale, so we're going to see how this color looks. It may look better than I'm expecting. And of course, if you want something longer wearing, um, you can always use a liquid lipstick. Uh, here lately, I haven't been the biggest fan of liquid lipsticks. I've been more into like the hydrating traditional lipsticks that you have to reapply. Okay, that's a bit gray. Um, not bad. Um, would it be a shade that I would wear often? I, I can't really say. But I do like the feel of it. And I like the finish of it. So possibly. Um, I'm just not used to kind of that color. So we're going to take the e.l.f. Lip Plumping Gloss in the shade Pink Sugar. And that's what it looks like. And we're going to put that on over top. She put a gloss on. Now, it wasn't a plumping gloss, but I love plumping glosses, so that's why we're using this one. Okay, with the pink sugar kind of on top of it, I like it a little, a little better. I'm just going to apply that all over, like that. Not a huge plumping feel, but I do like that. Make sure I don't have anything on my teeth. <laughs> And, okay, so next up, uh, we're going to do mascara and finishing powder. Now, I don't have lash extensions or anything like that. Uh, and if you saw me tap my phone, it's because my, my battery is low, so fun. But... I don't have lash extensions or falsies on or anything else. This is just going to be my lashes. Ugh. Well, hopefully I don't stab myself in the eye. <laughs> uh, and we're just going to curl the lashes. And then I'm going to use... I'm going to use the Lash, Sens Lash Sensational Full Effect Mascara in the shade in the waterproof black. And then we're just going to gently pull that through the lashes. Just like that. And look at the difference that it makes. Do you see, I don't know if you can tell, but my face is so glowy and I don't have on any type of highlighter or anything yet. Um, I always put on highlighter, especially at the end of my looks, but you don't have to because your face from the products that we've used already is going to be super glowy, <clears throat> which I love. I love glowy um, products and I love when my face looks just so fresh and dewy. I am going to add a little more blush though. I just feel like I could use it on my face, but <clears throat> all right. 
right, and now we're gonna go in with some setting powder. And then um, this is the Revlon Color Stay in the shade Translucent, and it's a pressed powder. And I'm just gonna apply that under my eye and around my nose because that's where I find I have the most staying power issues is on my nose. <clears throat> a little on my forehead and a little on my chin. And then that's all the powder I'm gonna use. Um, I'm gonna go back in with my blush just to make sure it blends. And then <clears throat> you can re-intensify the contour on your nose if you want. I'm just gonna go down the sides with whatever's left on my brush. Just like, just like that. Um, not a whole lot, not anything super special. And then I think I'm gonna go in with a highlighter. This is the ColourPop Smoke and Whistles, my favorite highlighter of all time and I'm just gonna apply that to my cheeks and look that makes my skin look wet look at that it's so pretty <laughs> and then I might put a little bit on the tip of my nose and then a little bit right here on the cupid's bow and that's it we're done let me know what you think. Comment down below if you'd like to see more looks like this or more techniques that you think I should try and do. I think I'm going to do this more often. It was a little longer than I typically do my makeup, but it looks so pretty. So let me know what you think. Um, thank you for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. I really appreciate it. And I love you guys and I will see you next time. Bye!